in life, my main theme or motto is water plus food equals life. And so if you have good water, you have good food, you have good life. Uh, my name is John K. Matsushima, and I started here, as, it was Colorado A&M at that time. I started in 1939 and got my bachelor's in animal husbandry in 1943. And then I enjoyed animal husbandry so much that I continued with my master's degree and got my master's degree in 1945. I'm pretty fortunate, I'm 98 years old. Well, this has a very interesting beginning. Cattle feeding was a big business during the 1970s. At that time, our athletic director from McGraw used to read the newspapers about the sports section, but he noticed in one issue that the cattle industry was making lots of money and so he thought, well, this might be an opportunity to help him get the athletic department in good financial success. And so one year, Fum McGraw came to our cattle feeders annual convention at Vail. And uh, Fum decided to have a hospitality room. And so he asked me to invite the big cattle feeders that were making a lot of money. And so while the cattle feeders were having a good time at the social, I went over to Fum McGraw and asked Fum to get the cattle feeders to uh, maybe tell them, maybe a steer might break his leg and get the meat to the athletic department. And so that was the start of a barbecue in 1981. That for the first uh, Ag Day, there was a cattle feeder by the name of Marion Harmon. And he brought a steer over to our CSU Meats Laboratory and had the carcass barbecued. And so, a couple of the other cattle feeders, they wanted to join in. And so there was a cattle feeder with a Coors feedlot. Coors used to have a feedlot in Longmont. And so Frank Seawall said, well, we'll furnish the Coors beer. And then there was another person by the name of Cecil Helbush. He was the farm director for Safeway stores. And he says, well, we'll furnish all the buns and all the eating utensils. So everything was furnished for this first Ag Day. The first Ag Day was held at a rodeo ground that the CSU students used to have. It was a rodeo ground where the uh, facilities were just southeast of the Hughes Stadium. And it was a real hot day. And so to have the barbecue, the, the people had to go under the shade of the uh, uh, rodeo stadium. And uh, there were 200 people attend the first one. And Fum says, well, now that I got you here, I want all of you to come to the football game. And so that's how we got all the people livestock people, the farmers, to go to the football game. And so for the second Ag Day, a lot of agricultural people heard about the first success of the barbecue, beef barbecue. So the dairy people, the sheep people, the pork people, the apple people, they all wanted to join. And so for the second Ag Day, the attendance increased to about 800 people. And then for the third Ag Day in 1983, 
every agriculture department wanted to get in. So I guess the football attendance went over to several thousand people then. One thing that pleases me is that after Ag Day and after the football game, it's very encouraging to me to see people go home with a happy face, smiling on their face. <laughs> and I might mention this, that Ag Day uh, is not only known for the state of agriculture, it's been known nationwide. So we have people come from not only the United States, but I've had people come from Japan. It's a big event, and I think it's going to continue to be a big event.